Okay, I'm back. Let's keep going. What do you, what do you mean? Amber? Exactly what I said, you dimwit Sal. Are you able or not? I see. Yes, yes I am. You think that's enough? Convince me. What? What is... Amber, what are you doing? Well, it's not as toxic as I say, as say, foreign aura. The power of a main still aren't something you've been born with. They're something you've received, and as such, they're not part of your body or soul makeup. Removing them without harming the host is absolutely possible. Explain the first time, then. The reed, the reed in the oak princess, you must let the storm pass over you instead of resisting it. So, in short, as long as you actually do want to relinquish your power, my methods can't harm you. That is acceptable. Amber? You, you can't be serious. Do you realize who you're siding with? She tried to kill you. She's responsible for the breach and for what hap is happening right now in Amity. Beacon and Veil, vale. there's countless blood on her hands, including Noah's. She's the reason he's dead. All of this to get to your powers and now you're just going to give them to her? Yes, because she's also ironically the person who doesn't want me want to kill me right now. Yes, that's kind of... <laughs> oh, that's absolutely hilarious. You... You be so selfish that Noah's death doesn't mean anything to you. On the contrary, it's exactly because of him that I'll swallow my pride in making a deal with the devil here. I could... I could have saved him. And yet I didn't have the opportunity because I wasn't there. I wasn't there because he asked me to protect myself, to value my life, my survival, more than anything else. No one wanted me to live. He died protecting others. I could feel it as he went. I will honor his wishes and do everything in my power to survive. And believe me, Pira, there's not a worse person you could entrust with ensuring someone else's safety than Ozpin. <laughs> oh, you don't know the half of it. That's the entire reason he's doing all of this. You... you know? Hmm? Headmaster. Yes. I do. She was sending me to face her enemy, after all. And when you face an enemy, it's important to know all of his weak points. Be they in the body, the mind... Or the heart. What is going on here? You won't be leaving this place alive, Miss Fall. Now this should be interesting. The Fall Maiden versus the the Fall Maiden versus the Headmaster of Beacon. Sort of. Don't forget about me. No, Miss Nikos, you need to conserve your energy and in case something happened to you, I can't risk your life. But Headmaster, you said I am indeed weakened, Miss Nikos. Still. I'll still be more than enough to deal with two misbehaving children. What? What has happened? I... the sound? The air? It's like... This is the world of my semblance. You have had your chance to listen and comply. Instead, you chose to make this hard on yourselves. Very well, then. I will accommodate you.
Okay, okay, let's do this, let's do this. Although it's sort of bullshit because I know exactly what Osmond Simmons is. Um, think, remember the ending of Doctor Strange? The MCU movie? Not the cartoon one, if anyone ever saw that movie? It's basically that. Except with a power. Except. Except for something very different. He has a power limit. Although I. It is sort of pretty much dumb that I'm basically fighting a Doctor Strange. Soul Recover has thinned out. Now. Hmm. You're about to say there was no need to kill him? Seriously? Though, was that really the extent of his prowess? All he did was beat us with this, that stick of his. I'm not that naive, but you could have chosen a less gruesome way. Oh, believe me, it's better this way. Right through the right eye, he didn't even have time to register what was happening. Now, sh shall we? Before that, promise you won't kill Pyrrha too? Huh, why not? I'm feeling pretty generous, Con- Wait a minute. Why are we still here? Excuse me? Why is everything still frozen? If this was caused by his siblings, why isn't it back to normal? That's true. Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't assume you've won yet? How? What? This is... Ugh, did he seriously just pull that out? A regeneration semblance then? I'm not sure. If it's just regeneration, then what happened to our surroundings? Oh great, now he's getting more fired up. That's right, focus on Cinder. I don't need you focusing on me. I really want Ozpin to die, so this is actually more more fine than anything for me. Because literally, Ozpin... Because again, as I said before, Ozpin caused literally the entire situation. Literally everything that's happening around it is literally all his fault. And he still can't own up to it at all. This time, we're doing something different. Focus on my spell and enhance it. That's fine. Ah. I 
I like her style. There's nothing to like. I just turned a man to a pile of coals. I'm just glad that Pyrrha wasn't affected somehow, and... Nothing? Nothing's changed? It, it can't be. I'm... Impossible? I impossible? This is impossible. Yeah, fighting the same fucking boss. <laughs> this is... Again, when I say Doctor Strange, he's just going to keep on rewinding time on himself. I, again, I'm sorry if I'm not saying anything, but how the fuck do you say anything in this? Especially since I know he's just going to do it again, I don't know how much aura Osman has currently, so I can't really go into, into like, oh, he's almost defeated or something, or frick, he's still a bastard, no matter what. But he's a tough son of a bitch as well. Come on. Come on, stay in the game, stay in the game. I already lost the Pyrrha multiple fucking times. I'm not... I'm not gonna put up with your shit. Especially from you. <laughs> fucking Ospin. Ah! That sound really hurts my ears every time he comes back. No, no, no. How does he keep getting back up? Will you calm down already? Damn amateur, that's how I managed to get you in the first place. He's not invincible, nor is he unkillable. Believe me, if this is because of his semblance, it means that it consumes aura. You're... you're right. That's why he's only attacking us with his weapon to conserve aura. So theoretically, if we keep killing him, he'll run out of aura, yes. So fight carefully and stop wasting energy on big attacks. I can already feel the aura in the ether starting to thin out. And what if we run out first? Shut up and fight. There's a white fang transport approaching. Damn it, is it because support for the hijack is it maybe support for the hijackers? I should have started getting back hangar controls instead of weapon systems after the sensors. They're too close to shoot down. Wait. These readings. I'm too late. Careful, Evelyn. I know, I know. J Jack! He's... he's cold. He's so cold. Observation. Common symptom of... 
I feel flow lag shock. Chances of survival. Anomaly detected. Subject's life sign stable. Look, I don't give a shit. Let's go already. And come and close the hangar door. Observation. Hangar was open without intervention. Probably presence of White Fang allies on board. Initiating. Primary threat detected. Reevaluating of priorities. Where are you? That seal. What do you mean primary threat? Hey, what the hell? She knows I mean you no harm while I pose a big threat to her. If she has to play escort, she so she left. Give him to me. What? I can bench press a hundred, one thousand kilograms without aura and carry him more carefully. Precisely than the two of you. The infirmary is on the middle deck. Let's go. What do you mean you're a threat to her? Am I correct in stating that Penny's machine side has become self-aware? You seem to be self-aware from the get-go's, to be fair. Called herself Gamma. So that's the second stage of Sensophily? Yes. Which means we're all in terrible danger. Danger? But she says she was going to protect us or something. So those are the parameters Penny gave it. In that case, you might be the only ones not in the immediate danger from her. What do you mean by that? What's so dangerous about Sensophily already? Sensophily is the software that gives Penny Machine Side complete control over her body and processing. It even allows it to rearrange the components as it sees fit. Which is why she could suddenly fly. Yes. The problem is, when it's coupled with Penny's semblance... That fool. What was she thinking? Why is Amity falling, and most importantly... What are you going to do, Roman Torchwick? At first, our fathers thought it only worked on Grimm, but Professor Paul and Dina now thinks it can work on any magical being. Anyway, what does it... What it does is break their bodies down and turn them into aura for ourselves. What? The problem is that we are still unable to handle the influx of energy. Our mechanical sites instead can so... You know, this works. Choice made for me and not a moment too soon. I'm not getting soft, I'm just running from the flying ginger of doom. <laughs> it can potentially keep up since of Philly in all of Penny systems at full processing and horsepower forever. And it will. You mean that Penny... Yes. The mechanical side will conclude that giving control back to Penny even after securing your safety would be counterproductive and damaging to the other directives. The elevator. 3 minutes, 160, 180 seconds. That's how much it takes for the AI in the first stage to get enough control for Payne's body to never relinquish it again. With the second stage, in all of the grim she's been blasting, Penny, Penny's gone too? I, I can't. One thing at the time, considering how much time has passed, it's a miracle Noah hasn't passed himself yet. So maybe we can still do something. In the meanwhile, mind telling me in detail what the hell is going on? Cinder. This is the result of Cinder Falls planning and machinations. The White Fang was in on it as well. Noah wasn't in time to explain everything fully, but other than Amber, what she wanted was to create a, a concentration of misery and negative big enough to summon a very powerful Grim, along all the smaller ones now swarming us. A very powerful Grim? That's why she wanted you to kill the Gamera? So the smaller Grims under its influence would fall under this new Grims once it's appeared? Has it? Noah. Not that I know of. 
I've only recently regained control of the sensors after someone hacked into the ship's system. But there's no Grim more powerful than an Alpha in their range. And what about the AK units? The AK units? What about the... Well, about them. Have you managed to get them back under control, too? You mean that there have been... Shit, shit, shit. Evelyn, stop the elevator. Uh, what? General Ironwood left the entire contingent of AK units on the ship when... Shit. Targets identified as horror users. Switching to heavy ordnance. Ugh, Evelyn, slam them after I freeze them. Yes. Seal, I want you to rush to the infirmary. Don't stop for anything. We'll cover you. Just be careful. I'll hold them off. Go. The hell I'm leaving you alone. Do whatever you want. Just don't let them come near the infirmary until I come back. Fine. Cover the other hand of the corridor then. Jack, we got to take care of them. We can't hold the barrier up forever. I will once I have absorbed enough juice. Just go. God damn it, why do I keep running into things with lasers? Now is complete. Target possesses kinetic absorption capabilities. Solution? Mixed assault. Laser weapons and flamethrowers. Follow up high yield thermal grenades. Finally. Now, what even is your blood type, Decapkeys? Got to access the records. <laughs> of course, it'll be A, B negative. Almost hooked you up. Almost hooked you up. Almost. Jacqueline! You better pull through, decap geese. You hear me? If after all of this, you kick the bucket, I... I... Was that a dream, or did I really make it? Did I save them? That's none of your business. What? The living are no concern of the dead, so you have no right to know. If you couldn't get it before, you bit it. Tough luck. So, I... Of course you did, you fool. You lost an arm, a leg, and an eye, alongside most of your blood. Your body is shutting down and your brain can no longer bring you back to consciousness. You're a crippling vegetable now, and soon you'll be completely gone. No amount of transfusion or oil can bring you back. Which means I now need to make a decision. Don't do it. What vital is straight? Did I hit my head? How did it? Mm, Weiss, are you alright? Weiss! Weiss? Wait, when? When the arena tilted, I. I saw her. No, not you two. Why is this happening? Why? I'm losing. I'm losing everyone. Noah, Yang, Blake, Weiss, Penny? What happened to Penny? I don't even know. Mom, Dad, I... I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't be like you. I can't be strong. I can't protect anyone. I can't save the day. I can't even save my friends or the person I love. 
I'm just a kid who should have stayed in Signal. I want to get involved into something bigger than me. Bigger than anyone, and this is the result. I want to be a hero. I want to be a leader. I thought I could take on anything and all I did was get them killed. I should... I should have... Mommy! Kid, no! Mommy, Phil, she's down there! Mom! Kid, I'm sorry. Mom? Mom? <sighs> no! Stay away! Stay away! Uh, uh, not yet. Stay behind me. Later. I can apologize to everyone later. Now I can't stop. Is this right about a Roses version 2 remix? What the? I will never stop. in a fight scene too. <laughs> oh boy. And for it to be a wall lang. At least it's not fucking Ursa. Well actually an Ursa would be easier because it's a bigger target. Never mind. Grim, where are they coming from? I don't know. We should... Wait, that's... A school bullhead? But how? A scroll is still working. Unbelievable. Who? Uncle Crow? I knew it, Ruby. I knew it. I could have recognized that surge of aura anywhere. You don't know how happy I am to hear your voice. Same here, sweetheart. But now listen closely. I don't know how well you followed things, but Animity didn't crash, it relined and landed safely. Oh my gosh, it did? Oh my gosh, it did. Which means we can use civilian transport from Vale to evacuate. But Ruby, that also means that the Grim can climb up. The pilots are all civilian civilians and we can't spare anyone from the ground. That means I understand, Uncle Gro. You can leave it to me. No one will get past me. Shit. You sounded exactly like your mother for a moment there. I'll see you later, Uncle Crow. I know. Alright, furbags. Come and get some Rose Family Brand Carbon Edged Love. That is the name if I will say it, and I'm going to end this part here.